welcome to today's equipment class. For today's class, you're just gonna need a mat, a headrest, two light weights, a circular looped band, a circle or a cushion, and then lastly, just a foam roller or a small ball. Uh, so we'll get started off with the warm up. We'll start off on our hands and knees and have your roller handy close by because we're gonna use that for some of the warm up. So starting off, just spread the fingers nice and wide, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, dropping the rib cage down, arch in the back, looking up in front. And then rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees, dropping the ribcage down, arching the back, looking up in front, and rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. Again, dropping the ribcage down, arching the back, looking up, and once more, rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. And then coming to a neutral flat back position. We're gonna grab the roller and just put it underneath our hands just to make the balancing a little bit more difficult. If you don't have a roller, just leave the hands down on the mat. Don't worry about that, but this is just an option to make it harder. So try to keep the hands directly below the shoulder so don't have them out like this or too far in like this. So straight line from the shoulders down to the wrist. And then we're gonna straighten out the right leg and the left arm. So keeping the back nice and flat and then small circles with the arm and leg. Good, trying to keep that wrist still if you can, the right arm. Good, and lower down, left leg, right arm. Again, small circles with the arm and leg, just adjusting here if you need to. Trying to keep the hips parallel to the mat. And lower down, then we're gonna shift the weight over to the right side. Straighten out the left leg and the left arm. Try to get the hips parallel to the mat. Make sure not to arch the low back, so draw the rib cage in towards your spine, and then small circles. If you're finding this hard to balance, just hold this position. And lower. Shift to the left, right leg, left arm. Or sorry, right leg, right arm. So same arm and leg, small circles. Good for three, two, one, and lower down. Dig the toes in. Pinch your shoulders back, lift the knees up, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower down. Take the toes in, pinch your shoulders back, lift the knees up, lift up the right foot and the left. Right, left, right, left, right foot, hold the right foot. Left foot, hold. Right foot hold, and left foot hold, and lower. Good, last one here. Pinch the shoulders back, dig the toes in, lift the knees up, lift up the right hand, try to tap your left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder. So right hand, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, last one on the right, last one on the left. Rest the knees down. Bring the knees apart nice and wide, sit back into the heels, and then using the roller just to stretch the arms forward, bring your forehead down to the mat, really stretching out your thoracic spine, so your mid-back. Try to push your chest actively down closer to the mat. Nice big deep breaths here. And then we'll thread that right arm under the left, and just leaning your body weight a little bit more to the right. Walking that hand forward. And then switch. Crawling the left fingers a little more forward and then pressing your chest down. Good, and then we'll put the roller out of the way. And then we will come onto our backs to start. And we're gonna imprint the spine, bring the legs in the tabletop, shoulders relaxed, tap the right foot down, and the left foot. Right, left, nice easy taps here. So hopefully these toe taps should be pretty easy for you if you've been following along the past couple months. If you haven't done any of the videos and this is your first one, just really make sure you're imprinting that lower back. So what I mean by that is you're pushing down, you shouldn't be able to fit your hand underneath your back at all. 
So a good way to check is to just bring your hands to your low back and make sure that it's not lifting. Otherwise, try to tap further if it's not lifting. And then squeeze the legs together, tapping both down and lifting back up. Shoulders are relaxed. Low back is pressed into the mat. Three, two, and one. Good, and rest the feet down. So we did a lot with the circle last week, so we're gonna do a bit more with the band this week. So we're gonna put the band on just above the knees. And we'll start off nice and easy, like usual. So knees apart, feet together, spines imprinted, pull the knees apart and back together. So just activating those outer glutes apart, together, apart, together. Keeping that spine imprinted. Apart, together, apart, together. Three, two, and one. Back together. Then we're gonna grab the roller or ball if you wanna make it harder. You can have the, you have the ball. Keeping tension, I'm gonna start with my elbows on the mat. If you want, you can start with the hands down or you can even cross the arms if you'd like. So knees apart, imprint and lift and lower, imprint and lift and lower, keeping tension, lift and lower, imprint and 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 lift and lower and two more and last one and lower good arms across the chest shoulders relaxed imprint and lift and lower 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 good three more two and last one keep the hips up good bring the knees apart together apart together two three four five six seven eight nine and ten lower down good next one we're going to keep the hips up and then we're going to bring the right knee out to the side and then the left knee if you want to make this one harder you could either grab your circle or if you don't have a circle, you can grab two light weights. So we're just gonna hold it up just so you can look straight through it if you have the circle. Pinch your shoulders back, squeeze the circle. Imprint and lift, keep the hips up nice and high. Right knee up to the side, left knee up to the side. Right, left, keep squeezing the circle. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. One more on the right, one more on the left. Hold it up here, reach your arms back and in front, back and in front. Good, keep squeezing the circle. Just activating those chest muscles and your biceps. Good, keep the chin tucked in. Keep the hips up nice and high. I know there's a lot going on here. We have three, two, and last one. Good, and lower down. Perfect. Put the circle to the side. And then we'll bring the roller out of the way for now. Imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, bit of tension in the band. Bring the hands behind the head, chin to the chest, rolling forward. Reach the legs out and then back together, elbows in. Reaching out, stretch the legs and then back in. So as you reach out, bring the legs apart. Apart together. So usually when we do this, we're squeezing the legs together. So we're just doing a little bit different, reaching out and back. If you reach a little bit lower, it's harder. If you reach up higher, it's easier. Good. And then we're going to hold on the last one. Last one, hold. 10, bring the legs apart together, apart together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten rest the head back hopefully you really felt that in the core i know i did next up we're going to bring the legs into tabletop 
We're gonna straighten up the right leg only. Right leg out to the side and together. Out to the side together. Out to the side together. Four, five, keep the left leg still. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bend the right leg, straighten up the left leg. Out to the side together. Two, three, four, right leg is still. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, bend the leg, rest the feet down. Imprint the spine, legs in the tabletop. Straighten the legs up, we're gonna bring the band around the ankles. Bring the legs apart and together. If you wanna make it harder, chin to the chest. Apart together, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bend the knees, rest the head back. Then we're gonna come onto our stomach. So we're gonna keep the band around your ankles. We're gonna do a few things on our stomach that's a little bit different than usual. So we're just gonna have the resistance with the band. So just starting off, resting your upper body down, lift the legs up, create tension in the band, and lower. So keeping tension the whole time, lift and lower. So try to bring the feet nice and wide apart together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the legs up, bring them apart together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, lift the upper body up. One, keep the legs still. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, resting the upper body down. Create tension in the band. Now we're gonna activate our hamstring muscles. So keep tension, we're gonna bend that left leg and then slowly lower down. So we're gonna do 10 on the left. And control as you lower, bend and straighten. If your band is kind of moving up on your ankles, just shimmy it down again. So you don't have to bend it too far. Just about halfway. So around 45 degrees or so. If you want to go a little bit further, you can. Good, two more. And last one. And now we're gonna do 10 on the right side. So bending that right leg and straightening it. So again, if your band is moving up, just shimmy it down, bend and straighten. And you're pressing your hips into the mat. The other leg is resisting the motion. So the other leg is holding the band down as the opposite leg bends. So just contracting your hamstring muscles. Good, try to press your hips down as you bend. They'll wanna pop up a bit. Good, we have five more, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Now we're gonna bring the hands out by our sides, palms touching the mat, so just ignore the legs for now. Just squeeze the legs together, just leave them there. Lift the upper body up, twist the thumbs back, pinch the shoulders together, and lower. Lifting up, twist and pinch, and lower. So just working our lower traps, Lifting and pinch, and lower. Lift, twist, and pinch, and lower. Good, four more. Three, two, and hold. Bring the legs apart, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze the glutes nice and tight, so keep tension in the band. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, lower back down. And we're gonna do one more here with the arms. So arms into a wide position. We'll leave the legs down for this. So thumbs are pointing up, chin is tucked in, lift the upper body up, pinch your shoulders back and lower. So this is a lot harder than turtles, which is what the other exercise is called when the arms are down. These are just called Y's. So they also get the lower traps, so it's just a little bit harder. Good, lifting up and lower, lift and lower. Four more, three, two, 
and one. Perfect. And then we're going to do one more here. We're going to bring the band up above the knees, just a little bit harder. So up above the knees, back down onto your stomachs. And we're going to bring the arms into a W position. So elbows are just bent, just around shoulder level, or just below shoulder level. Then we're going to point the toes down, and we're going to bring the legs apart, and together lift the upper body up. Apart, together, apart, together, apart, together. Try to keep the toes pointing down. Good. And we get when we get to 10, we're going to pulse it out. Eight, nine, 10 pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lower down. Perfect. We'll come onto our side next. So we're going to do a few more things on our side just to target the glutes. So like I said, today's going to be really glute heavy. And then next time we'll do a lot more circle stuff again. So onto your side, ankles together, knees are bent, and we're going to pull the knees apart and together. So keeping the hips stacked apart together, apart together, apart together, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to come onto the elbow, lift the hips up, bring the knees apart together for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Bring the band down to the ankles. And legs at a slight angle. We're going to lift the top leg for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Lower down. We're going to lift both legs. Lower the bottom leg. One, two, Top leg stays still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's a tough one. Okay, then we just have one more here. So lift both legs. So tension and then lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Lower down. Last one here. We're just going to do small pulses. So point your toes down, just the top leg. Lift both legs up, small pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. And lower down. You can really feel that. And you're going to take the band off. Keep the band. We're going to do the other side. So band just above the knees to start. So hopefully you're really feeling that in the outer hip. You might feel it down the leg as well. Sometimes people even feel it into the shin just because you're tensing all the muscles, but we're really aiming to target this upper glute, glute area called your gluteus medius. So back leg up with the back mat, feet are in the front corner, bend the knees, knees apart and together. Yeah, starting with a nice easy one, it's called clamshells. Good, apart together, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Up onto the elbow. If this is sore or you have any shoulder problems, you can always just stay down again. Otherwise, try to lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Lower down. Band goes down to the ankles. Front corner. Back leg up the back of the mat, lift the top leg only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm already feeling that on this side. And then we're going to lift the top leg and then lift both, lower the bottom leg only. One, two, the higher you lift up, the harder because the more distance the bottom leg has to go. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can really feel that on the top leg because your top leg is resisting your bottom leg from moving down, so it has a constant pressure on it. So that's why you're feeling it more in the top leg, even though the bottom leg's moving. Next one, tension in both. Lift both for one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more here. Don't worry, I'm really feeling the burn as well. Both legs up, uh, toes pointing down, small pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And lower. Good. Put the band away. We're done with it for the rest of the class. And then we'll come onto our back. We'll grab the circle. And we'll give the legs a rest just for a second. Hopefully you're really feeling that just in this outer part here. So let's we'll start nice and easy again. Imprint the spine, working those inner thigh muscles now. We'll just do a bit with the circle because we did a fair bit last week with the circle. So we'll just do a little bit with the circle. Three, four, just squeezing and relaxing. Just letting the outer glutes just rest for a second. Using the inner thighs. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, imprint the spine. Legs to tabletop, squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the circle squeeze, chin to the chest, rolling forward, start to beat the arms for in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Keep the circle squeezed. Out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, Four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Last one, out, two, three, four, five. Resting the head back, grabbing the circle. Again, circle just above the knees. Straightening up that right leg. Left leg nice and still, right leg out to the side and back together. Out to the side together. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Bend the right leg. Squeeze the circle. Straighten up the left leg. Out to the side together. Out to the side together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Bend the left leg. Grab the circle. Just a couple more with the circle. Circle between the ankles. Legs to tabletop, squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax, shoulders are relaxed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Straighten the legs up, chin to the chest, one forward, squeeze with the right leg, and the left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left right, left, right, left, one more on the right, one more on the left. Bend the knees, grab the circle. And then we're gonna straighten the legs out, squeeze the legs together. Reach the arms back, holding the circle. You can also hold on to uh, two light weights. Squeeze the legs together, shoulders pulled back, arms forward to the chest, rolling up. And lower down nice and controlled, reaching back, arms forward, chin and chest, rolling up. And slowly down, really pinch your shoulders back as you go vertebrae by vertebrae. <clears throat> rolling up. Slowly down. Good. And rolling up. If you want to make it harder, reaching up. Shoulders pinch back and slowly rolling down and rolling up. Good, and rolling up. And two more. Last one. And rolling down. Now we're gonna bend the knees, keep holding onto the circle. So the more your knees are bent, the harder it is. 
the straighter out your knees are or the less bent, it's a bit easier. So we're just going to do a roll up sitting up like this. So if your knees are more bent, it's just a little bit harder. Control the whole way. Don't let the legs lift. Reach back. Rolling up. And slowly rolling down. Try to bend your knees a little bit more. So it's a little bit harder. Try not to let the feet lift. Squeeze in the back. Slowly rolling down. Slow, slow, slow. Rolling up. And then we're going to rotate to the right side. And down. Rolling up. Rotate to the left and down. So just bring the arms up a little bit higher. Rolling up and down. And rotating to the left. And we're going to pulse to the left for one, two. Try to lean back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rolling down. We're going to do ten to the right. Both into the right for one, two, three, four, just work in the obliques, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, rolling down, rolling up again, try to lift the feet up, tap the right foot, left foot, see if you can lift the feet up higher, right, good, left, right, try to sit back, left, right, left, right. Good, try to reach out a bit further. Right, left, right, left. One more on the right, one more on the left, and rolling back. Perfect, we're gonna do one more here with the circle between our knees. Now we're gonna reach back, we're just gonna do a couple of uh, boat poses, rolling up. It should feel easy now after all of those, or maybe it's hard now that we're tired. <laughs> Good, rolling down, we have three more. Two. Last one, we're gonna squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rolling down. Put the circle to the side, squeeze the legs in, rocking back and forth. Give yourself a rest, we're nearly there. Good, just moving wherever feels nice. Now we're gonna grab one small weight in the right hand. Legs are in tabletop. Left arm out to the side, so left arm is like this in a T position, so right arm straight up. Left arm in a T. We're going to reach up towards the ceiling and lower back down. So reaching up. So left arm stays in contact with the mat or with the ground. Reach up. Really working those obliques. Try to reach up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Three more. Then we're going to do ten pulses. Two. One. Ten pulses. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Right arm, left arm straight up. Right arm out to the side. Reaching up, crunching up, reaching for the ceiling. Three, four, five. This is too hard. Bring the legs down like this. Otherwise, try to keep them up. If you really want, you can straighten them. Good, three more, then we have 10 pulses. Two, one, 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Resting down, hopefully you're really feeling those. And then we're gonna bring the right knee into the chest, well done, we're gonna do some stretching. Relaxing the shoulders. And then we're gonna bring that right leg across into a spinal twist. Might hear a few cracks, that's okay. Just keeping that shoulder down as we twist across. If 
back to the center, straighten the right leg, hug the left knee in. Shoulders are relaxed. Left arm out to the side, twist the left leg across into a spinal twist. So you could just let the leg loose like this or you could hook it behind the other leg, whichever you want. Back to the center, right ankle over the left knee, grabbing behind the left thigh, pulling the knee in tight to your chest. Switching over, left ankle over the right knee, doing the stretch into the glutes. We did a lot of glute work today. Left foot down, straighten up the right leg, stretching out the hamstring muscles. And then left foot straightening up. And then coming back to the center and we'll finish with that.